there has been a lot of progress that's been made in screening technologies for early detection of cancer that includes both imaging based screening technologies as well as more recently molecular based uh, approaches to screening patients but despite of all the advances that have been made in this space most of the patients that present with cancer today present with cancer that has already progressed as well as representing patients that relapse with early intervention and it's this population that represents the largest patient population with cancer today we know that successful early cancer detection and treatment represents the strongest opportunity for potential cure or long term tumor control and this is because early disease represents tumors that tend to be more clonal compared to the advanced disease setting Now in order to realize the full potential of precision medicine and eliminate long term toxicities associated with current standards including radiation and chemotherapy we need to apply our deep genomic expertise to earlier stages of disease to identify patients at higher risk of relapse building the evidence traction and clinical landscape for precision medicine in early stage disease is a core component of foundation medicines r&d strategy and this is reflected in the breadth of studies we are bringing to the american society of clinical oncology annual meeting this year with the movement of therapies particularly th- targeted therapies into the early disease setting there is a greater need to understand actionability of comprehensive genomic profiling in the early disease setting at asco we are presenting research that foundation medicine conducted with flatiron health and the cleveland clinic to assess the clinical value of comprehensive genomic profiling in early stage non small cell lung cancer now using the flatiron health foundation medicine clinical genomic database called cgdb researchers investigated cgp results from nearly 1500 early stage non small cell lung cancer tumor specimens to confirm the driver mutations identified and assess the role of cgp in selecting appropriate precision therapies in the early disease setting CGP identified EGFR, ALK, ROS1 and RET drivers in this early setting and the resulting tumor profiling enabled optimization and timely initiation of precision therapies for first line treatment at recurrence. Now in addition to this Insights into the mutational profiles of patients allowed for identification of patients who are likely to be resistant to immunotherapy due to ALK or ROS1 and RET mutations or unlikely to benefit from TKI treatment resulting in avoidance of unnecessary toxicity. Data alone is not enough to drive change in clinical practice. The key to securing the adoption of CGP in earlier stages of cancer is actionability. Now genomic profiling and diagnosis must bring significant actionable benefit over and above current practice and give clinicians new tools, knowledge and a range of novel therapeutic options to improve care for patients. An important aspect of promoting long-term treatment benefit as well as cures in the early disease setting is making therapies available in the early disease setting and this is done via partnerships on clinical trials. We recognize the importance of embedding our resources in research and clinical trials needed to make progress in this space and are excited about our partnership with the Lung Cancer Research Foundation and the Lung Cancer Mutation Consortium on a new neoadjuvant screening trial. Generating data that clarifies the potential clinical utility of identifying and targeting these actionable mutations in early disease will help to accelerate the expansion of therapeutic options in this setting. And our trial in progress poster on the leader study at ASCO provides the opportunity to engage with stakeholders from across oncology to discuss the aims of the trial and explore further opportunities for pivotal research in early stage cancer. This mastery of cancer at the genomic level is now on the horizon. The next step in that journey is to form the established precision medicine as a standard of care in early cancer. Working towards this goal will continue to be a priority for our team as part of our mission to bring precision medicines to all patients living with cancer.